Hi, I'm Casey Benefield. I'm an Alert Operational member, and I'm here to share information about the Central Alabama Spotter Chat. We'll cover how to get into it, how to get up and running, as well as policies and procedures. Later videos will cover how to set up different chat clients such as Pigeon on the PC for Windows, ADM, or other chat clients for the Mac OS operating system, a chat client for Android, as well as a chat client for iOS. Again, we'll be covering what BMX Spider Chat is, the policy rules and etiquette, how to get signed up and other instant message features on weather.im, as well as accessing the Spider Chat from the web. BMX Spider Chat is a XMPP or Jabber chat service which is designed to allow trained Skywarn and alert spotters to provide real-time reports. From this chat room, operational members at the National Weather Service can quickly relay those reports in real time to NWS meteorologists. This is incredibly useful, especially in cases where an outlying county on the fringe of our coverage area cannot reach the Birmingham W4CUE 146.88 MHz repeater. It's also incredibly useful for anybody who is not a licensed ham radio operator, but is a Skywarn trainee. In this image, you'll see the basic structure of how Spotter Chat works and how it falls into play with Skywarn and Alert. The first image you see, we have a report of damage or severe weather entered in to the BMX Spotter Chat by the spotter. The next step is the Alert operational member will receive that report and relay it to National Weather Service staff. The National Weather Service then takes that report and uses that information as needed for any decisions that they may take. Or they'll pass it to the appropriate agency. In order to use the Skywarn Alert Spotter Chat, there are a few rules, a few policies that must be followed. The full conditions are outlined on our website. The key points to remember is the National Weather Service participation is not guaranteed and it's also not guaranteed that a report will lead to a watcher warning. The chat room is not monitored 24-7 and the availability of the server is not guaranteed. The server is actually located in Iowa at a university. Access to the chat room and the server is a privilege and not a right. Alert reserves the right to grant or revoke access. Access will be revoked for any person or group that abuses the service. All messages are logged and may be sent out to other people. There is no copyright on conversations had over this system. Addressing rules and etiquette, in particular, we'll want to avoid idle chit chat. If we're talking about our dog during a severe weather event, that may actually distract the users of this chat from actual problems or severe weather. Let's avoid making useless or bogus reports, now cast, or ask for storm particulars. This is inclusive of asking how the storm looks or if you have a storm approaching your area. If you are a storm spotter, you should already know the safety situation. Safety is your number one priority. The other thing to avoid is reporting lightning or saying that it's very light rain at your location. None of this is a qualified severe weather report. Do not room hop or rapidly pop into rooms and then leave. If there are National Weather Service employees, please avoid private messaging them. They may from time to time private message you to ask for particulars about your report. This is completely acceptable. The chat room is intended solely for sharing storm reports. Also avoid repeating reports from the media. The media is already in contact with the National Weather Service in a media chat room. Continuing coverage of our rules and etiquette, we need to remember that National Weather Service in Birmingham covers a limited area. You can see on the screen a list of counties and also a graphical representation of the counties that the National Weather Service in Birmingham covers. You can find your Weather Service office or county warning area at the link shown on the display. In cases where you are outside of the county warning area, please be sure to relay 
the storm report to the proper weather service office. Relaying it to Birmingham will result in a delay in the needed information reaching the actual meteorologists that need it. Okay, that's the basics. The next thing to remember is you'll want to be a trained Skywarn spotter. There are a few ways to get spotter training. The first way that we recommend is either in person or in an online webinar at the link displayed. The second way is MedEd, which is a training course provided by the National Weather Service. And for honorable mention, other weather service offices do provide Skywarn training. They may have different criteria for severe weather, such as a different level of hail report. There's also local news media spotter training. And lastly, the spotter network spotter training. The spotter network spotter training is mandatory for all spotter network users. We recommend that every person refresh their training once a year. Okay, with all that said, let's jump into Google Chrome or your favorite browser and we'll cover how to get signed up for weather.im. Okay, I've opened weather.im. You'll see a few different options. You have the IM bot monitor and then you have the live client. The first item is our IM bot monitor. And what that is, is it is a monitor of all of the storm reports. As you can see, I have the Birmingham Weather Service room opened up and you can see all the local storm reports. You can see the climate reports, forecast discussions, uh, hazardous weather outlooks. You name it, you can see it if it's a weather service issued product. You can pick any room nationwide in this tool. However, you can't chat and you can't view the map. But it is a very useful tool when you want to have a heads up for any of the warnings that come up. The next thing is new. This is the live client. This is actually the same thing as what the National Weather Services use for NWS Chat Live. The first thing you'll see is a username password field. You can log in anonymously, but you will not be able to chat. Or you can register an account. To register your account, simply enter in a username, a password, and an email, and then click register after agreeing to the terms. Once you have registered, your username and password will be used here, and you can save the login. There's my username. Okay, I've logged in. Weather.im actually logs your current preferences. And as you can see, I've already got my map shown up here. I just need to drag it into view a little bit. So they have a Google map where you can view the radar along with any of those products you have. Uh, Actually, I was looking at precipitation earlier, but let's flip it over to as you can see, there's our convective outlook. Let's see what day we have that thing set up for. Day one. Okay. We'll do day two. And as you can see, you can flip the different layers. It's a pretty neat tool. So keep that in mind. You can also see the boundaries for each weather forecast office. Okay, the next thing is if you have bookmarked any chat rooms, you can actually click on these chat rooms to join. But let's actually act as if we have not joined a chat room yet. I'll expand the chat rooms box. And you'll notice we have BMX spotter chat. That is the main spotter chat for Alert and Skywarn for Central Alabama. I'll click on it. There's the room name. There's the chat handle. The handle is actually a pretty interesting tool. We generally use the county and state. Our name. 
our call sign. Alert members will usually have their alert name in the chat handle. You can choose to save a bookmark for the chat room and give it a name. In this case, I already have it, so I'm not doing that. You can also choose to be invisible and anonymously monitor, or even auto join the room when you load up in to weather.im and log in. So let's go back to that bookmark now that we know how to get into a chat room. We'll get into BMX Spotter Chat today. I've already got my settings saved. I'll hit join room. There we have it. I'm in here with a few other people. I have another alert member. I have somebody out there that's a ham radio operator. Me and a chat robot. Just to demonstrate one of the links, let's see what the latest day one convective slight risk looks like. Okay, that was unexpected. They actually ended up enhancing that slight risk for tomorrow. As you can see, you can view all of those products in your web browser, and it's pretty useful so you can see exactly what the weather service is thinking. Here is an actual advisory product, and this will load up what's called a VTech browser. And this is pretty cool. As you can see, the impacted counties, you can bring in radar. You can actually set the time of the radar snap. You can use the opacity to make it transparent. You can put overlays in it and everything. You can view the radar map, the text product, any history for that warning or watch, any reports within that warnings area, there's the storm reports, all of them for that time period, and then the included ge geography. As you can see, you can see the expire date of those areas and then list events so there's only been one event it was just issued and you can see what time it was issued other interesting things is you can pull a GR level 3 radar place file if you use that program you can pull KML and what this is this is actually for Google Earth if you have Google Earth You can also run searches or queries on this pane right here. Okay, one of the neat things about this is I can actually send instant messages to people who I know. Just as a demonstration, let's click on IEM bot. If IEM bot was a real person, I would just click down here, say hi, and hit send. In this case, I don't want to talk to a robot. Also, you can join more than one chat room. Looks like somebody else is in here monitoring. A lot of times people will get in here and monitor just to see those storm reports, warnings, watches, etc. The BMX spotter chat is really the place that we need to be though. From here, during a severe weather event where alert has been activated by the National Weather Service, we intend to have somebody in that spotter chat. However, we cannot guarantee it. Another interesting point about the NWS chat is you can actually have favorite view sets. You can actually edit those favorites for those maps. You have a few tools there. You can show the local storm reports. You can show a legend for any of the reflectivity values and as you can see we have a few new local storm reports popping up here and you can click on each of them and see exactly what's going on so there's just a little tiny bit of a freezing rain reported by a member of the public from social media 
it looks like they had a picture on social media, I, I would imagine. You also have your chat status here, so you can mark yourself as available, be right back or away. You can adjust your audio here. And of course you have other chat capabilities here. You can add other users as buddies, show offline buddies, change your message text, etc. Of course, sometimes you don't want to see everything. You've logged in, you want to hide that panel there, you can hide that panel there, that one. Or you can rearrange your panels however you want. This concludes the overview of weather.im and the introduction to the BMX Spotter Chat. Our next videos will cover different clients that will work on a computer such as Pigeon, Adium, as well as smartphone clients. We'll see you in the next video and thank you for helping Alabama be prepared.